Welcome to the lesson on circulation. In this video, we'll discuss how to assess the child or the infant's circulation. Assessment of circulation in pediatrics involves more than checking the pulse and blood pressure. The color and temperature of the skin and mucous membranes can help to assess effective circulation. Pale or blue skin indicates poor tissue perfusion. Capillary refill time is also a useful assessment in pediatrics. Adequately perfused skin will rapidly refill with blood after it's squeezed, for example, by bending the tip of the finger at the nail bed. Inadequately perfused tissues will take longer than two seconds to respond. Abnormally cool skin can also suggest poor circulation. The normal heart rate and blood pressure in pediatrics are quite different than in adults and change with age. Likewise, heart rates are slower when children and infants are asleep. Most centers will have acceptable ranges that they use for normal and abnormal heart rates for a given age. While you should follow your local guidelines, approximate ranges are listed in Table 5 in your corresponding PALS manual. This concludes our lesson on circulation. Next, we'll review disability.